<laughs> so that is a thing that you can do in some games. <coughs> I know Beat Saber makes it possible. However, I would require... <coughs> <coughs> I would require an entire green room to do that. Like, the room would be entirely green. Like, I have- I have a green screen behind me, but it's close behind me, like... Alright, I thought I would be able to touch it, but it's right there! Webcam needs to happen so we can see you flailing! That's the thing, like, again, like, I don't know how to make a webcam happen. Because, like, this webcam is pointing at my green screen, but if I'm playing VR, I'm not actually in the webcam frame. <laughs> I'm... I'm out of frame. <laughs> Put an entire green room on there? I guess what I could do is I can get, like, a very large, like, fabric green screen, and, like, I could just pin that up. And that would cover, like, a larger portion. Oh, thank you. This is one of my favorite, uh, favorite zip-up hoodies. But yeah, Lily. Lily was around for one of my VR streams in the Discord. They got to hear me screaming. <laughs> VR puts me in a weird position mentally where I start... <laughs> start saying weird stuff. Foolish, pathetic pixels think they could stand before VR God. I do that voice a lot, VR. I don't, I don't know why. It just happens. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Pistol Whip and Beat Saber, but I got... I have Half-Life Alex. I don't... I don't own any of these things, I should say, but a very kind person is letting me borrow their Steam library, and they have all these things. I do have Alex, though. Alex is mine. I have Alex. Okay. Against the storm! I gotta, like, turn on this video game first, and then we could chat about whatever. Uh, last time we were talking about starting a village over here, even though we do need to do one in a biome down here, uh, specifically the Scarlet Orchard we need to do a village in. But we do have access to this thing, an ancient battleground. This land was once the place of a mythical battle. You end up with 50 hostility points to start, so it's a harder location. But it does give us a lot of rewards that we want for upgrades. <gasps> oh my god! Are these- are these humans? Are these filthy humans? Or are these the new race we, uh, we heard about? It looks like they might be the new mermaid people? I can't remember. I can't remember what they look like. They don't look like humans. I think these are the mermaid people. That'd be fun. Be fun to have a new... Oh, harpies! Yes, not mermaid, harpies. It'd be nice to try out a new- a new species. Have some harpies. Alright, we have four embark points. We're gonna take extra villagers. We're going to take wood, and we're going to take uh, some food. That should help with hostility. Honestly, stone would be a nice thing to come with, but I think food is kind of important, too. That way, for a little slow to get some food production going, we're going to be okay. And extra people's nice, too. So additional effects. 75 hostility points? I thought it was 50! <laughs> uh, lush and rich in timber. Trees give more wood. Oh, lord. Fruitful season. Forest fruits are so ripe, they're almost fall into the basket on their own. Gathering speeds increase by 50%. After, the, after each storm comes, a time of peace and regrowth. Reputation goes up for every dangerous or forbidden glade event completed during drizzle. Okay, okay. During a storm, we're gonna have a lot of bad resolve situations. Maximum number of sacrifice stacks in the ancient hearth is lowered by one. Every dangerous fruit and glade discovered grants minus two to global resolve during a storm. We might want to be careful about when we cap into those. Sudden drop in temperature can cause extreme hunger. Active only during the storm, gives more hostility. Villagers with this effect have a 50% chance to consume double the amount of food. So this is gonna be a, a a much harder village than the last three. But yes, we have harpies now. Harpies are a noble and fragile species, yet with a primal aggressive side. They excel at alchemy and love to work with cloth. And we have lizards who love working with meat production and they love working the hearth. Am I going to see what happens when we lose? I hope not. I still intend to win. 
Thank you very much. Okay, a farm would be a very nice thing to have. Let's grab a farm. Rain mill would be nice. We could grow wheat at the farm, turn it into flour, and then we just need a bakery. And we know that the harpies like working with cloth. So having a weaver getting some fabric sounds like a good idea as well. But a carpenter can make us simple tools, which is pretty important. And they can do planks more efficiently than the other default starting locations. So... I think I'll take the carpenter. Carpenter's a little bit more important. We don't have any fertile ground to grow on yet, so that's a little disappointing. Let's start off like I like to, which is getting a road built from here to here. Kind of shooting off in both directions. Build a few houses. These houses seem big. Seem like big houses. There we go. Four houses will get us started. Let's get a couple of woodcutters camps near a couple of glades. Plugins. That's a good one. We don't have any beavers, which is a bit of a bummer. Bit of a beaver bummer. Slap that over here so we can crack into that glade. Kind of path them together. Want to go around these little planty things. Don't want to break them. There we go. So we got houses, we got wood production. No stone nearby. Nothing for our- oh, we can start harvesting this stuff. Plop that there. It's a big harvester camp. Forager's camp gets green, roots and vegetables, nothing for us there. Herbalist, nothing. But we can get some meat with our trapper. Slap that down there. Alright, so that's food, herbs, wood, houses. We should be okay. It's on pause. Let everyone get to work. Oh yeah, storage. I always forget about storage. We do have... Oh, a harpy's working this, huh? We have eight harpies. I guess it makes more sense for a harpy to be there. Specialization bonus. Are harpies good with fire? I thought they were better... Like, lizards are very good for fire. I feel like we want to put the lizard over here. Sheltered lizard housing, pie... This is all the stuff that makes them happy. But we know they like warm shit. Yeah, I prefer warm environments. So, like, anywhere where fire is involved. Maybe we... Maybe we'll go ahead and put a lizard here instead. We still have the specialization bonus, so it's okay. Bop up the speed a little bit. I like it to go a little faster. And once these things are built, we start assigning jobs. And we'll also slap a warehouse down. It's important to have a place to store stuff. Alright, lizards like meat. We'll get three lizards working here. Which unfortunately means only harpies for wood production. Raputam. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I thought you were my other wood. You are my woodcutter can. I thought you were my, my food production. This is my food production. Gotta get some logs first, I see. Three harpies. Three harpies, perfect. And what are we gonna work towards? Oh, just build path? Easy. I'm already doing that. I always do roads. Lizards have 10 resolve or sell goods valued at 10 amber. That's pretty easy. And we got our 10 amber back. So I'm going to take that. We could get beavers that way. And I love beavers. Beavers are good for wood. Lizard resolve or make pack of provisions and pack of crops. We got four people, grain, amber, 
But we can get parts this way. And parts are important. It's just that lizard resolve. We're at 8. We need to get up to 13 and keep it that way for 30 seconds. We could probably make that happen. But we're gonna... It's gonna be real hard to keep resolve up. There's a lot of hostility. Every storm is gonna knock them down significantly. Whereas Packer Provisions is just gonna take a little while to get the... The resource train together, but once we do, it'll be fine. I just like these rewards a little better. Ah, we'll take this. I don't want to get stuck in, like, a resolve hole and not, not ever be able to complete that. Wealthy settlements attract wealthy settlers. Newcomers bring 40% more goods with them for every hearth level gained. Detailed notes on different traders and their wares gain one additional active trade route slot. Traders will arrive 25% quicker. Trading is going to be nice. Uh, specialized grain farming technique. Grain production increased by plus one every 25 times it's produced. We do have all the things we need outside of fertile land. Once we find it, it'd be nice to make a lot of baked goods. That keeps resolve high when they have complex food. But I want those traders to come fast because that's one of our, our objectives. Do, do, do. No one's homeless. That makes me feel good. This has almost everything it needs. And here comes our harvester's camp. Put two harpies in charge of that. And put two lizards in charge of that. There we go. Now we're producing food. Warehouse needs bricks. We don't have bricks yet. But we do have one lizard available, which means we have a job that can be filled. And I know exactly what that should be. It's not the trading post. I just, I want the trading post is all. I don't have any room to build the trading post. There we go. Trading post could live right there. We should probably also specify. Dig through there, dig through there. And like, give us more room. Over here, that's gonna be, we're gonna be in that glade real soon. <clears throat> Alright. Wood production's up and running. I would like to build a carpenter. That's going to be important. Plop that down. That's our warehouse. It needs bricks and cloth. We could use a trade post to get some stuff we can't otherwise make ourselves. We have no need for a rain mill yet. That means our one lizard's probably going to be working the uh, trading post first. Alright, we don't have anyone... No one has to work there, I remember. Okay. Now we just need to crack into a glade or two and we'll be uh, well on our way. Oh, right! We could also just finish one right now. Which would make me feel good. So we had 33 path. We need just two more path. Here we go. You're already walking that way. Do that. Here it comes. 34 and 35. Let's go ahead and deliver that. So we're going to get shovels. And some stone, but more importantly, we get a Queen's Grace, which means we push down her impatience and we get to choose something. Bakery! See? It's the last part of the pie we need outside of fertile ground. So I'm really hoping we find some in one of these glades. We get some fertile ground, we're gonna start making baked goods real early. And in preparation for more people, we'll just shove another house right here. It's already the perfect shape for it. You know, just gonna designate like 
all the outside edge trees. I really want more room to build our settlement in here. It would be nice for them to crack in, but we're not... We're not in that much of a rush. Plus, the next storm is in 55 seconds, so making them less efficient means we don't have to worry about being in a dangerous glade for a storm. Which we were already told would be bad. 10 value of goods sold, so that's going to be super easy. Two minutes, we'll have that done. And the other one is provisions and crops. We need planks for the carpenter to be built. Which means I should probably build, what is it? A makeshift post. Actually, no, crude workstation will get us our planks early. And then we could build a better version of that. Yep, here's the storm. Everyone's sad. I know. I know, guys. I know. Here, build this. Harvester's camp is already empty. Oh, boy. Alright, no one worked there for now. We have a new job for you anyway. Throw the two harpies in there. Let's let them know that planks are the most important. Followed by bricks, followed by fabric, followed by pipes. You know what? We'll make that three, make that two, make that one. Because this requires planks and fabric. You know what? I actually changed my mind. I'm gonna reset my priority. Everything back to zero. We'll just give them... Try and hit these numbers for me. Like, make me two of those. Make me five of those. Make me two of those. We need five, two... Two and two. So we actually want four cloth. And then after they make those, we should be okay. Oh, our boy's here! Hello, friend. I need to offer you ten ambers worth of goods. What do I have? Resin is important. I shouldn't trade you. 0 0.14. 0 0.14. 0 0.2. 0 0.2. Ugh. I might, I might wait until the next trader shows up. We're, we're really, we're losing out on this trade pretty hard. What do you come with? Coats and fabric? And it's beavers? Give me them beavers. Pause the game for a second. Economic migration. Rumor has it that your settlement is one of the wealthiest in the realm. No. But, that's okay. Newcomers will arrive with plus 50% quicker for every two levels of standing you have with the other settlements and trade routes. Uh, you took some of the best explorers from the Smoldering City with you, get a constant minus five penalty to Global Resolve, but a 15 to Global Resolve for five minutes every time a new glade's discovered. So we're worse off, but better when we find a glade. It's a rumor. Well, a lie. Yeah, a lie. Gain three barrels for every ten planks produced. Oh, hell yeah. Free stuff? Free stuff. All right, yeah, we'll wait for the next uh, trader to show up. Although, we just got a few things from those people arriving. How much are coats worth? Point one. Ugh. Ugh, we, we don't even have one Amber's worth of coats. I thought we got slightly better trade options when those people arrived. All right, yeah, we'll wait for the next, the next trade. And beavers, look at them, they're happy already. Let's get a beaver working here, and a beaver working here. Doo -doo. We're already, we can't make bricks anymore, huh? No, we can. You can make them out of stone, come on. And fabrics using plant fiber. Well, we got a glade. Was it a hostile glade? All right, there's a provisioner here. 
It wants six planks and six fabric. We can get a provisioner for free, which can produce flour barrels, provisions, can use water. Or we can get copper and pack of provisions. I mean, it's not too bad. And what are you? Ah, uh, you're the scary part, huh? Okay. You want resin? We can we can do this with resin, so that's good. You want 13? We have 20. Tit for tat. Quick cover-up of this crime will prevent any serious consequences. Otherwise, the Merchant Guild will retaliate. Alright, we definitely want to get this out of the way fast. Uh, I'm going to go with a bunch of Amber and Queen's Grace. That'll make trading very easy. Send one Harpy and one Lizard. Please investigate that. As for this one, they want six planks and six fabric. We have none of that, so this is just going to have to sit here for a moment. We will have those things soon, though. We have what we need to make plant fiber. And we are making planks and plant fiber. Are anyone homeless? No one's homeless. What kind of camp is doing fine? How about this? Do we have tools? Absolutely not. We lost a harpy. Come on. Resolves at seven. It's not that bad. I guess it was worse before. All right, what else we got here? Have at least one hearth upgraded to level encampment. Or have eight beavers at resolve 20. You crazy? I mean, they are at resolve 17 at the moment. That's, that's pretty close. What do we get for that? We got a lumber mill. You already have. We have pickled goods and parts. I actually would prefer tools and amber, so you know what? Pick that. It's not too hard to upgrade that one. I don't know if mushrooms are here. Lizard resolve at 16. Uh we got a bunch of harpies. Two additional lizards would come with each group of newcomers. That's forever lizards. I mean, mushrooms wouldn't be that hard, assuming we find mushrooms. There's no guarantee we're going to find mushrooms. There's no guarantee. Lizards are hard to keep resolve up for, though. You got to have a lot of meat. You got to cook a lot of meat. You got to have a lot of variety of meat. I think I might just go with mushrooms. See if we can't get that to work out. Come on, come on, let's get this one done, guys. There we go. 20 amber and another grace would be quite nice. What are the resources do we have in here? Giant roots? Forager's camp, huh? Can a harvester's camp do it? No! Bastard. But we will have something for our our meat camp. Come on, do I have a, a forester's cut? Yeah, foragers. We want a forager's camp. We need a big one! God damn it! Like, we have the big version of Harvester. We really gotta get the permanent upgrade for foragers. That would really help out. Ah, uh, the drizzle has begun. Uh, beaver resolve is actually pretty easy, I guess. Maybe we should have focused on that. Alright, we're almost done with our planks here. Come on, team. Let's get it going. And we're out of brick material. Yeah, there's nests up there, but that's the same camp that's already doing uh, this down here. These are the guys that gather eggs. Once this runs out, we know where to move them. Another glade with fertile ground. 
My god. God damn it. Another tit for tat. And it also wants resin. Oh, that could be bad. Because this one's already using resin. But it says 13 out of 13, so I'm assuming we're good. So maybe we'll be like, hey. Get over there. Every root production, bundle of scrolls, wildfire essence. Tat will <laughs> always gets all the tits. Investigate, go! We have a clay deposit. We got dewberry bush, which I think means we finally have a use for our... Ugh, come on! Our harvester camp. No? Damn, harvester camp, you're useless to me. I'm sorry, what was that sound effect? You didn't find another glade or something, did you? No, but you did finish that. Perfect. Ooh, big forager camp. That's exactly what we wanted. Let's pick forager camp. We have a small forager camp somewhere, right? No, we haven't built that. Excellent. All right. Forager's camp. Oh, yeah. We're going to have roots for days. Slap you down. Let's build some road. Get out of the way, text. There we go. That's nice. We do need some more villagers, though. Small trapper's camp has no food. Let me tell you, we have plenty of places for you to work. So many places. We can get meat there. But we have 64 meat. We're, we're not as uh, egg rich. So let's plop this down right next to this. Get some eggs. Eggs are nice to have. There we go. There's also a clay deposit here. Whoa, no, actually, keep that paused. I want to set up a farm. A small farm. Farm fields. Excellent. This requires a large herbalist camp, huh? Do 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 do. Do we have any free is it villagers? No. You're here for f yes, finally. This is like one of the games that you're really into, and we never have you around for it. How's it going, Katase? Can we upgrade this to an encampment now? Upgrade requirements. We need some decorations. Comfort decorations. Comfort. Slap a bench down there. Let's get a park built over... Over here. That's a nice place for a park. That's two. And, of course, barrels is how we always finish this off. One, two. What was that? What What? What did you dare say to me? I can't build there? No, I can't. There we go. All right, that's one, two, three, four comfort decorations. I think you'll find I'll have an encampment quite soon, game. And then you'll have no choice but to reward me. With hopefully more villages. Going okay? That's good, that's good. Alright, graveyard's taken care of. I would like to put another person on this so it goes faster. Oh good, we do have someone to put on there. Lumber mill's finally done, alright. Crude workstation, no longer will you make planks. Because we can make better planks here. Honestly, I'm just gonna tell everyone to stop working here. Get out of there. Oh, God. Hard area is hard.
Come on, people. Build them. Build! That's more important than other stuff. Well, not not more important than this. This is this is arguably more important. That is part of why everyone's resolve is so miserably low. Oh, uh, we're gonna lose a beaver. Probably also gonna lose a harpy, aren't we? How long is this storm gonna last for? Listen, sacrifice some stuff, people. Do we have any sea marrow? I don't know if I have sea marrow. Nope, don't have sea marrow. Don't need oil. Sacrifice a couple planks of wood. Get like three wood in there. And we could sacrifice some coal. Come on. Come on, baby. Harpies, no, come on. Live, Harpy. Oh. Right, no, we're still gonna lose a harpy. Yep, there we go. God damn it. Let me put more wood in there. I'm out of everything else. Come on. Oh yeah, part of this hard area means I'm not allowed to sacrifice as much. Okay, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Yeah, I could I noticed afterwards that I can in fact see The amount we have we have so much wood 312 wood All right, you're cranking out some planks for me <sighs> Can I can I make someone not do a different job so I can maybe Ooh, trader here. That's exactly what we wanted. Uh, we need 50 mushrooms. How, how much would you charge me for 50 mushrooms? Only 16, you say? That would solve our have mushrooms requirement. I'm willing to do it this way. <laughs> that is fine by me. Let's throw 10 amber in there to start. Do I have... Man, our planks are just immediately going into things we're making, huh? Do, 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 do. I should just do the entire thing in amber. We got the amber for this reason. Is there anything else I want? Leather, water skins? Flower, berries? I'm not too worried about most of this at the moment. We'll make up the difference in, in a couple of planks of wood. There we go. So that will solve two of them immediately. Yeah. Deliver you, that gets me more people. Deliver you, that gets me more people. Beauteous. And this will be done very soon now. Uh, I want beavers. Although, what do we get here? Vegetables, reed, berries, leather, copper bars. I just want another beaver. Yeah, I mean, we're doing okay right now. Usually we're way worse at this point. Woodcutter is a lot easier. Woodcutter's camp production is 35%. Gain 30 meat every time a villager dies or leaves. Cannibalism. So wait, when we say they left, that just means we're eating them, huh? Let's see. I mean, we're not... We're not struggling in the wood department. That's for goddamn sure. But... We're not really hurting in the meat department either. Ah, we use wood for a lot of stuff. Clothier, weaver, scribe. Coats, water skins, scrolls, fabric training gear, pack of trade goods, scrolls, ales, simple tools. Really, you produce booze at the scribe. I mean, having access to scrolls and tools is nice. We can we can go ahead and do some education. That could be a requirement we get at some point. So let's take a scribe. I've never taken a scribe before. <gasps> Bathhouse! Oh, hell yeah! Cleanliness, passive effect, regular baths, good health, but this will fulfill leisure and brawling. Beaver House mean beaver resolve would be excellent. But I think I want a tavern. 
Hey, how's it going there, Mr. Axiom? Alright, a cookhouse gets us skewers, biscuits, and pigment. Artisan gets us barrels and coats. Barrels we already got through uh, another means in the game. Every time we produce a certain number of planks, we get barrels. Wine, pickled goods, jerky. I'm gonna take a cellar. Okay. So, we have... We, we have need of houses. That's what we have. Slap a house down there. I think it's time for uh, a few houses over here on this road now. Kind of shove that as far as we can while it's still in... in the range of the hearth. Perfect. That should cover our housing needs. So tools, they'll make them eventually. And luxury goods, we're just gonna turn that off for now. I'm really after planks. Forages camp is up and running. You guys get on that. Uh, we can get a stone cutter. That'd be nice. Get some clay. Okay, I'll just put that right... Right there. That's fine. And as always, roads for days. Love roads. You made... You made two dinners? The greed. The hubris of that. What are your two dinners? And why did you make two of them? Yes, the farm's happening now. I hope there were two good dinners. Well, I guess a road's there too, why not? <laughs> Get to work! Uh, let's put another beaver here. You know those beavers. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Encampment completed. Deliver. That gets me some tools. Which means we can now do one of these. Alright, what can we get? We can get 20 amber. Or a bunch of bricks, a bunch of flour, and a bundle of scrolls. Kind of leaning that way. Made chili and cornbread, but one of my residents doesn't eat chili, so I also made fried shrimp. Ah! Oh. One of your parents doesn't like chili, huh? The chili's so tasty. Delicious chili. Barrels, grain, barrels of ale. Oh, ale's nice. But I think I want to go with a uh, whole bunch of bricks, flour, and scrolls. And we now have the tools we need for this. Perfect. So we'll set two people over here to do that. We have a minute and 16 to go for our next two. And the homeless epidemic is over. There we go. Everyone is now housed. Perfect. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, I forgot about this one. Damn it. Uh, I still prefer the one we chose anyway, so that's fine. All right. They want six planks, which we could easily deliver now. And they want six fabric, which we can't quite deliver. But we can build... We can build something for for cloth. This makes fabric, but I feel like we have a better option for fabric. Rain mill, carpenter, rain collector. We should do a rain collector soon. Is it still just our crude workstation? Is that all we can do? One day I'll have the power to remember what buildings do what. But there's a lot of variety in here. Cellar. Don't need it yet, but I do want my bakery now. Mm 
Yeah, I guess we're just gonna... We haven't gotten anything that makes cloth, so... Let's put two harpies in here. Let them know they're not making planks, they're not making bricks, they're not making pipes, they are making fabric. Really want this one? It's a good one, it's a good one. Nope, nothing spicier than white bread. A delicate palate. <laughs> Alright, vegetables and grain. We have our bakery coming up. And now we should make our, uh, our rain mill. Just kind of midway between the two buildings, huh? So grain will be produced here, milled into flour here, baked into baked goods here. It's perfect. So we will have flour going. So biscuits requires... We'll also have plenty of roots, so let's like, uh... Let them know they could use roots. They could use any three of these. I don't care. Flour in any of those, and then for pie... Don't use herbs, but use meat, use eggs. Yeah, just meat and eggs for now. So we can make pies, we can make biscuits. You really figured out chili now, huh? Pottery. All right, time for our next ones. Objective, have at least 10 villagers with clothing needs fulfilled for 120 seconds. Complete six trade routes. I'm gonna take the one that I know how to do. Like, I, we haven't actually taken the time to figure out trade routes yet. And the next one, another trade route, 10 trade routes. You're killing me, keep goods. It's like the keep goods option is a reward for a glade event. Oh. And we get, we get tools? Sure. It feels like a pretty easy one. All right, bakery's up and running. Get a lizard in there. And you know what, two lizards. They like warm spots. That seems like a warm spot. I don't have enough workers. I need more workers. We don't have anything that this building can harvest, right? Nope. Just leave that unoccupied for now. Our stonecutter's camp requires workers. We don't... We don't have the bodies! I need more people. I think it's time. Time to move our woodcutter's camp to some place where we might be able to find... People. Put your emotes in the bag! No one gets hurt! What's going on, my dude? Let's move this bad boy over here. Nothing much. Just chilling. Not bad. Yeah, get me into that glade. And where's my other woodcutter camp? It's over here. Got two glades right there. I think that's where we'll put this one. No! No! Not the storms! We are but fragile, weak little babies in the woods. We have no coal, no marrow. We do have some oil. We'll throw one oil in there. And we'll do two logs. That should keep people from freaking out too bad during the storm. Oh, it's such a scary storm. Room for more houses there. Uh, I promise you, there's plenty for trappers. 
We got we got stuff all over the place for you guys. Ooh, that's more fertile ground right there, huh? I can get another uh, another farm going if I choose. My schedule Sundays have been shortened. I'll be able to attend more of the stream at the expense of being put on time crunch for work stuff. That's good. Except for the crunch part. I need one more comfort decoration and four aesthetic decorations. Throw another bench down here. Aesthetic decorations, huh? Lamp. Lamp there. Three lamps there. Lamp there. Has to be in this particular zone to work. Lamp there. Lamp there. I don't remember how many it said, but that should be more than enough. We're gonna lose another goddamn harpy. Harpies are hard to keep happy. We should probably actually look at what they want. Well, we're gonna solve the complex food needs. That, once we get the mill, shit, the mill! I need people! We have more people now, though. Shove them in here. Alright, they're, they're milling. So your job is to make me flour. We have no grain, you say. But also, you're allowed to use whatever you want to make flour. How do we not have enough roots? What are you people doing over here? Come on. Okay, we made it past the storm. We didn't lose anybody. We're okay. This gets me a beaver. But also more Harveys. Leave rainwater for a while. It begins to release a pleasant and warm vapor. Food production speed is increased by 10% for every 50 units of drizzle water stored. Every two newly completed dangerous and forbidden glade events lowers hostility by 50. We're actually doing okay in hostility. Well, this is impatience, uh, but overall, like, we've been we've been weathering the hostility. The people are feeling oddly rebellious. Gain plus one global resolve for every two impatience points. We're actually okay on patience. That's, that's not going to help us out that much. I think we'll do cooking steam. We need to start storing our rainwater, though. Do we have any events we could loot? We have rebuild and salvage. We need to choose keep goods. We don't have the tools for that. That's our problem. But we're gonna be cracking into new glades soon. That'll that'll solve it. We'll have more opportunities to keep goods. All right, a trader's arrived. Maybe we, uh, we grab some flour. No, he has no flour. Well, cool, thanks. But we could... Grab 20 tools. That'll let us get two glade events taken care of where we keep the goods. And that's exactly what we need right now. Yeah. Let's throw 45 in there. We'll make up the difference with planks. Trade. All right. With that in mind, we pop over here. This gives us bleeding trees. Plus two to resin production. Gain additional resin every yield from gathering, farming, and production. Villagers move faster. We get berries. Do we have other options here? What do you get me? You get me grain. That's something I do want to start working on. So let's do you. Investigate. And we could also... I mean, we only have two uh, two available to us. We'll do both. No! 
Your dumb face was floating over it. Haha, <laughs> I really like the voices of the harpies. There, that's two keep goods that we have running now. And I think we have another beaver, so we can make this place a little bit better for wood production. Alright. We have one building that doesn't have anything to do at the moment, and we have another building that's not doing much. Let's throw one harpy on that. Yeah, see, like, I can keep beavers happy pretty easy. But harpies... I gotta get more cloth production going. You guys are idling. Why are you idling? We have plant fiber. You could you could make this. Why are you not making it? Come on, let's go. No one in this building is working. Unassigned idle workers or change recipes. I don't understand why you're idling. Idling, idling. Why? No one's building's working. Unassigned idle workers who change recipes. We have fabric, which requires plant fiber. We have 37 plant fiber. We want to make fabric, which requires plant fiber. Oh, I put a limit on like a dum dum. I forgot we were doing that earlier. I was like, yeah, I just need this. Shit. Smooth, smooth brain moment. Low on food. You see, I don't like that. Were you? Oh, he left. Shit. You're making roots and such. You're having such a weird time with Company of Heroes 3. What's, uh, what's weird about it? What's, why is your time weird? Okay, what can we do to improve food production? Another farm. <coughs> I have no free workers. But I will have some soon. There's a lot of Company Heroes 1 nostalgia, but it's not very polished in a lot of weird ways. It's almost a good game. Alright, we get tools, we get oil production, get some planks, we get another grace. Deliver. Place for villagers can fill their need for religion, education, and we have a passive effect of Sacrament of the Flame. We can get a kiln. Produces coal, bricks, and jerky. We have a lot of raw food, don't we? I should probably be thinking about Actually, we don't have as much as I thought. But we are starting to make pies, we're starting to make biscuits. Like, we're, we're starting to make more food. I don't think we have a coal supply at the moment. We haven't found anything to mine yet. Killing is very powerful. Take kill. I don't have a workers for anything. That's my problem. Do, 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 do. Slap you down. Okay, we're we're not too bad on food. Building material production's fine. We're a little behind on consumables. Crafting's fine. Trade goods not not good. Fuel and expiration's fine. All right, we're, we're trending up on food. Yes, good, good, good. Like I said, I think we fixed food production before. We don't need pack of building materials, so I'm actually going to say... Don't, don't worry about pack of building materials. Or maybe I just put a limit on there. Like, we might end up wanting pack of building materials at some point, but it's usually no more than 10. So, you know what? Once you make 10, just stop. Pigment or wine. Use either one. You could feel free to use wood if you like. But you know what? Don't use green. That's good. 
And I said you can use whatever you want to make flour. I just want flour. Over here in bakery land, things are going swimmingly. I'll up priority on these two and keep pottery a little bit lower. Pottery is useful for like booze and stuff, so we do want some. All right, objective, what do we got? Reach standing level two with two settlements on trade routes. Again, I haven't explored trade as much. Highly concentrated blue storm rainwater used to power rain engines. Highly concentrated green drizzle rainwater. You know, I also haven't really explored this too much. This this could be a fun one to explore too. Let's let's worry about rainwater. And how about you? You want pack of crops and farm fields. They want 24 farm field tiles. Do we even have enough fertile ground for that? You want pack of provisions. We already have one pack of provisions. Oh yeah, this this should be easy enough. Let's take that one. And let's start worrying about making packs of provisions. We need 14 packs of provisions. Do we have anything that can do pack of provisions at the moment? Scribe, rain mill, kiln, carpenter. Carpenter does what? Pack of luxury goods. Let's slap a rain collector down. We do need one of those. Can't do a mine. Pack of provisions. The makeshift posts can do that. <coughs> All right, I forgot to pay attention to what you want. They want housing. We got that taken care of. Can't do that. They want jerky. And they want they're a meat eater. Biscuits, come on. You have biscuits. I'm making biscuits. They also want to be able to brawl. And they want education. Bathhouse. I think I took bathhouse, didn't I? We took tavern. That'll help brawling. Alright, let's get a tavern down. Try and make our harpies a little happier. That's... That's on the road enough, and we'll just make sure it is by doing that. Herbless camp. Do we have berries lying around? Oh, this is a big... It's a big bush! We need a big building for that! I love that it's like, that bush is too big! The building's not big enough to... We can't handle that bush! Always makes me laugh a little bit. We have our two woodcutters, so we have one stone cutter, we have our harvester, forager. Can't do an herbless hut, we need a big one of those. Got our trapper. Seller could start making jerky, that's another one that we need. Alright. We don't really have the people to work in some of these buildings yet. But we'll get them built all the same. Yeah, slap the scribe down too. Yes, we have a tavern that we just started building. Trading post. Don't need another hearth yet, but soon. The light post. I don't think we've really run into Blight in the past couple of runs. But maybe we'll just... No, we don't have any tools. We can't build a Blight post. Alright. You guys have your orders. Let's go. This is our makeshift post where we can make packer provisions. We want 14 of these bad boys. Blight's on higher difficulty. Thank you, Zabatsu. Don't worry about pack of crops. Do I need- oh, I do need four pack of crops. Never mind. I, I lied. Pack of crops. I want four of those. No building material packs. You could use grain for that. You could use berries for that. 
Let's pause the game here, throw two harpies in there. <coughs> oh god, we're out of the other stuff to sacrifice. <coughs> throw some oil in there. Water. Not water. Wood! Wood! I know what things are called. Oh my god. Fifteen packs of provisions, huh? Hit the wrong number, Arnus. Fifteen. You want two rain collectors built? I need more tools. Provisioner. We'll probably just salvage this. Oh, that'll get me provisions. Do we have the wood? We have the wood. Do we have the fabric? We have the fabric. We don't have the bodies. Investigate. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We're past the storm. Everyone's gonna be happy. It's gonna be okay. I need- I need more people here. I need- yes! People! No, not people. Three packs of provisions for every new villager. Yes. New people, please? Newcomers are almost here. Any minute now. Any minute. We left- we lost a harpy. God damn it. How do we not have enough wood right now? Am I just making too much plank? Is our wood production for planks just too high? We have 43 planks. Come on. And we're low on food again! I need- I need more people. I want more farms. Here we go. Four beavers. Now you are talking my language. Yes. All beavers! Where's the other one? All beavers. Pop in here, not the bakery. Where's my carpenter? Carpenter! Beavers. Beavers. Beauties. Beavers like it there. And our bakery. Put a harpy in there too. Okay, we got a few more people, which means we could pop up here. There are a couple of lizards on there. That'll speed that up. We got a tavern we need people to work in. Let's get a harpy in there and two lizards. Now we should get some brawling going. That'll help out. Make our harpies happier. And you know what? In theory... In theory, we should be able to... No, no, actually, I changed my mind. I want this over here. Uh, the only way I can get all the tiles is here. Just watch the man hose down Chef Boyardee ravioli, fry them on a griddle, dust them in cinnamon sugar, and eat them in a bowl of milk like cereal. 2023 is cancelled. That is... That was the last straw. Sad to say we're gonna have to say no more. Oh, we're done with packer provisions down here. We just need two more packs of crops. And way more wood! Oh my god, we need so much more wood. Uh, where are we producing our planks? I'm actually gonna say... Everybody go home. Don't make planks anymore. Just, just chop down wood. Don't use wood. We have a decent little backlog of planks, I think. Cracked into a new glade. With berries? Food? Food? 
Iris just can't can't do berries. Our cellar, though. <laughs> All right, I don't think we can make wine. Can we pickle some goods? How do we not have meat? Aren't you getting meat? Almost out of meat there, though. Where's the other woodcutter? Oh, you found this that has flax. Which I think this can harvest, right? Yes. Well, we have a, a, a building can be used, but again, we need more people. I think I might move this woodcutter deeper in, or maybe we'll just shove it back here a little bit more. Like, we're sh we should be making just nigh infinite amount of wood with some of the upgrades we have. It's weird that we ran out. I guess our production's just very, very efficient. There we go. All right. We could deliver this one. Gets us four more people. Thank God. Excellent. And this one's on the way. We have 39 packs of provisions. Good lord. Jesus. Uh what's what's building the provision packs? Stop making those. Do we need crops anymore? We don't need pack of crops anymore either. Uh stop working here. This building doesn't need doesn't need people anymore. All right, rain collector could use some folks though. Let's get Oh, oh. Harpies like working there? That is exactly what I wanted to see. A job that harpies are into. I thought they liked fabric, but they keep on giving me guff about this place, too. I guess they like working with fabric, not necessarily making fabric. You're telling me we're out of plant fiber? But we have leather. Use leather. There, make more fabric. Harvest wood. They almost got our rain collectors going. We need to start making clothing. We're almost, we're almost to another point. Fuck, man. We need, we need so much more food production. Get a harpy and a lizard on that. Come on, come on, we need, we gotta get, we gotta get more food. <coughs> Food? Food. Go get that food. Need that food. Need that food. Seventy one out of one hundred and fifty wood. Almost there. When the trader shows up, we have a lot of provision packs that we could trade with. That makes me feel good, too. We could probably harvest berries, can't we? Yeah, small herbalist hut. Listen, the, the need for food is such that I will build this teeny little hut. I would prefer a pizza hut, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Wow, they're tearing through the root deposit. All right, the kiln can make us some coal, can make us some bricks, can make us some jerky. Listen, I don't care what you use to make jerky, just make jerky. We got clay for bricks. How many bricks do we have? Not crafting material. Building material? Here we go. We have 12 bricks. Yeah, make, make like 14, 16, 18 more bricks. I don't think we'll need that many more bricks, but coal's your main priority. Put some lizards in there. The cellar. We can start pickling some food. 
I mean, complex food is just better. I won't. I won't set limits. We'll just send people in there. And that leaves our scribe, which can't really do much. All right, what do we have? No resin, no marrow, no coal. Throw some wood in there. Just try and try and weather the storm, everybody. And trapper has no deposits. Let's move you to where we get more meat. Is it just the one? It's just the one tiny deposit. Oh boy. We're gonna need to find more meat. Fried ravioli cereal? I don't know. I haven't considered dinner yet. Complex foods better? What is this? Molecular gastronomical bias? What is this? The menu? It's a good movie. People should watch the menu. Objective 40 villager clothing things. Jesus. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but pies and biscuits. And then this wants building materials, pack of crops. This wants ancient tablets. How many ancient tablets do we have? <laughs> Does it tell me that? I feel like I said no to a lot of ancient tablet options, so I don't think we have any ancient tablets. Which is a bummer. Yeah, I guess we'll take the other one. You are an ancient tablet. What's going on, Mona? Yeah, I know we're low on food. Calm down about it. Uh, we're burning through wood. Wood's just ticking down in real time. They're just hurling wood in there. Low on fuel. Do we not have any coal yet? No coal yet. Going to that fishing. Jesus. Well then, consider dinner. Oh, short you rib grilled cheese. Strength up for all this exercise. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Now I have to find my phone. My phone's gonna be the important like indicator of what's going on. I gotta say, like. My arms and my legs are, are sore, but it's good. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and we're low on grains, too. This is a nightmare. Come on, do your jobs. All right, we really got to, like, focus fire on cracking into glades here. Let's tell him to dig in there. There, I'm just gonna like plan for where I'm going to move some of my things after the fact. Need some protein to get ripped. Need those gains, you know what I'm saying? Need those those VR rhythm gain rhythm game gains. Alright, now we just we, we're starting at zero with the wood again. That's frustrating. We have homeless people? Son of a bitch. How did that happen? When when did we end up running out of housing for folk? We're gonna need another hearth soon. You know, if I... If I put a house... There, I think that's still in. Yep. And then I could put one here. Whoa, check out your Charlotte Gaines, bro. That's true, the second hearth reducing hostility is nice. I'm guessing this will be our second hearth location. We lost a harpy. Sons of bitches. 
All right, let's get our second hearth. Do I need to move trees? You bastards. Oh, oh, there we go. That works. That works. We have no parts. Can't build that. This is a nice double mini glade right here. Maybe we should, uh, get some woodcutter action going on there. Well, we'll have that glade open very soon. Oh, pastries is done. Deliver. That got us a lot of good old sea marrow to sacrifice and some parts and we got a new building. We also got some new people here. Get more beavers. My beaver bias is showing. We already were up to 11 beavers. We started at zero beavers. Gold production is 50% faster, but trading's unavailable. The forest recedes as heavily guarded trade caravans pour into the settlement. Hostility is reduced by minus 15 points every time you sell goods worth 25 amber. Villagers have a 10% chance of receiving bonus deals from productions, but consumption control is disabled. Game, it is bold of you to assume that I even know how to do consumption control. No restrictions. It's how I live already. Cooperage. What is this? Communism? Lumber mills, plank scrolls, pack of trade goods, barrels, trading gear. You know what? Trading gear would help us with that whole people wanting to beat up on each other. So let's take a cooperage. Do, 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 do. We have a trader here. Maybe we just go ahead and hope he has food. What we got down here? Scouts pack. Workers assigned to glade events can carry five more items. Advanced smelting. No food? Are you kidding? Come on. Come on, bro. Don't do this to me. Food. I can get some oil, I guess. I have a lot of resin. I could trade with resin. What's resin's worth? Resin's... Not super. <laughs> Ideally, you want stuff that's worth close to or over one amber. But tools are too precious. Figured resin would be a little bit more valuable. Am I gonna do any trading here? I don't think I am. Not oil's kind of, uh... Not the worst thing to get a few of, just so we can stave off those storms a little bit better. There we go. Just a quick little trade. What about trade routes? Desired goods. Travel cost. A one pack of provisions. Travel time. So this is, this is something we haven't really looked at very much yet, is the trade routes. We have zero active trade routes. So I could say, like, I want eggs. Can't start trade route. Not enough goods. Travel cost. So we want eggs. It requires one of these. Payment is two, but we can't do it. Offers are timed and reset every season. The type of goods, their amount, and their prices vary depending on the settlement type. Oh, so they want eggs. They want skewers. I see. What about Subol? What about Orkam? Okay, okay, we could do scrolls. We could do one trade route there. That's literally the only trade route we could do. I'm kind of curious about this. As you can see, zero active trade routes. But I kind of want to, like, I want to try establishing a trade route, so let's try Let's do it. There you go. We'll come. Scrolls, we'll get, we'll get some amber out of it. Let's see what happens. I've been trying to, uh, get myself to actually learn about trade routes here. Alright, we've collected our drizzle water. We need more tools, I think, to get this one built? Yeah. We need more tools. Alright, building materials. 
I need how many building materials? 10 more building materials. Building materials are back on the menu, boys. Pack of crops we want as well, huh? How many of those do you want? 25. I have two, so 23. All right, I'll put some people to work in here. Our carpenter is not doing anything at the moment because I need... I need 150 wood, so I've just... I want them to cut down wood, not use it so much. Our scribe, we don't have any of the materials necessary to get any of that running. This house is outside. Damn. It's all right. It's all right. We can we can get houses here. We're going to get through this. It's not the most desirable housing location, but you get a lamp. So, I think you'll like it there. Don't worry. Whoop, slap my microphone. Oh, two rain collectors. We're good now. Now we just got to get that storm water. Harpies like water. Fine, that's good. Let's go. And we need five more clothings. We need so much more wood. And boy, we really are bad at food. Despite having two farms. What's your problem? We don't have enough green? Are you telling me our farm is not doing good green work over here? Look, we got green. What's your problem? Should have taken the cannibalism. It's not... You're not wrong. You're not... You're not wrong. Ah, shit. All right, until we find glades with more food, it looks like meat is off the menu again, boys. Always be a cannibal. All right, that's a bummer. Don't need luxury goods. Come on, Stormwater. We're almost there. I don't know what I'm going to do about this food problem. Like, I have two farms going. We got a berry bush being... Co ...collected over here, of course. There we go. Berries, berries. Throw a lizard on there. Come on, baby. I'm guessing stormwater only happens during storms. Clearance water. No one is using his work here. It's idling. I'm guessing because it's full? What? What do I do about full rain collectors? Do I just build another rain collector? Go reserve of infused rainwater. Build additional geyser pumps and rain collectors. Increase tank capacity. Geyser pumps, huh? Do I have geyser pumps? We don't have geyser pumps. Can use clearance water. Well, a cooperators would help then. Build that, that'll help. I don't have geyser pumps unlocked, so we're not building any geyser pumps. 
It's just pipe. It's just pipe on the floor. People love looking at it. We're at 27 before. Did we just go up by one? All right, let's get this built, everybody. I want training gear for sure. We can use resin to make cosmetics. What are cosmetics for? Oh, the use of the bathhouse, huh? Sure. Sounds like we found a glade. Where? Is it a glade with food? Oh, it has so much fertile ground. Some berries. Forsaken crypts. What do you want from me? Things I can't provide. Oh, that's... That's no good. We're two tools away from being able to do that. Shit. If that rainwater happens soon, we'll be okay. We need two more tools, or ten more oil, or five more scrolls. Are we making scrolls at the moment? You want twelve? Can't, I can't accomplish any of that either. It's amazing that we don't have enough roots. We knew coming here would be slightly more difficult. Oh, broccoli. Where's my fortress camp? Oh, don't build a new one. Alright, it's currently doing roots. I wonder if we can move it so it's doing both? Damn you! Alright, we can't do both, but... Boy howdy, could we do some efficient farming over here. <coughs> I need another house. <coughs> Wait, we have we have a whole new hearth over here. There are a bunch of houses, making it so I'll never ever complete my goddamn wood requirement. Move you over here so we can try and get into both of these glades. I'm just desperate for meat. We're trying to find more meat. But this does look like a very solid farm opportunity. Oh, very solid farm opportunity. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, my, yes. Much better. Alright, that'll solve the homeless problem again. Come on, stormwater. I'm hoping that means we'll gather some stormwater now. Alright, now we have plenty of sea marrow to throw in there. Not to mention coal and oil. No one's going to be sad now. Yeah, we need people to move in over here. Ah, oh, baby. No, says 421. Did I? Oh, oh, we got the we got the water. I like how you don't read the tooltips at all. This is truly a chaotic experience. It's how I live my life. All right, I got what I wanted. Beauties. Now, uh, did I sacrifice a bad thing? Let's look at the tooltips. Efficient fuel obtained by mine or brick. Efficient fuel, efficient fuel, efficient fuel. 15 oil per minute grants global production speed. 
Glade event work speed increased. Hostility reduced by 80. Oh, 40 wood per minute. I threw... Wait, I didn't throw wood in there, right? Yeah. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no wood in there. No wood. What tooltip did I be <laughs> miss? What happened? Alright, give me that wood. We're on the same mission. The runs do last, like, two hours. One hour, 45 or so. But we are approaching the end. We're in our last, like, few ticks of, uh, victory points we're trying to get to. Oh, harpies are upset. I really gotta get rid of this. Alright, let's say use scrolls, because I have a scribe. We should be able to make scrolls. Yeah, you could use wood. But we gotta get pigment. Make me five scrolls. Don't worry about... Ale or... Well, do worry about tools. You could use either. Really... Running low on stuff. Cooperage can make me my training gear. Let's throw you two in there. Meat, meat. What's this? Living matter. Cooked and raw food in the warehouse is disappearing. Of course, that's good. Just more food going away. Listen, make, the, make this problem disappear, please. Get in there. Ah, oh, we need a big one. I don't... I don't have that. I gotta get a big trapper's camp. It's always looking dicey. Alright. I feel like I'm making pigments somewhere? Scribe needs pigments. Where do we make pigment? Cosmetics requires pigment. Don't make cosmetics. Well, I guess as long as you're not using pigment. You, you can make cosmetics. I'm sorry. I freaked out at you. That's my bad. Don't make barrels. We make our own barrels. Really just training gear and cosmetics. Alright, let's try and remember where we can make pigment. Pigment? 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 Fabric pipes. I don't... I don't know if I can make pigment. Shit. I need the trader to come back. Alright, storm over. Giant vegetables. Plus two to the vegetable production. Gain additional vegetables every yield. Well, that sounds very good. Ancient mushroom farming technique. We don't have mushrooms, so let's avoid that one. Gain plus one production yields for all packed goods. I think we're gonna go with vegetables. I hope roots count for vegetables. Sorry you're on your own, but please, please start harvesting vegetables. Making a settlement on the verge of starving to death in a supernatural storm so you can make some eyeliner. Need that eyeliner, baby. Alright, rain collectors are full. I feel like we can, uh... Like, you guys aren't doing anything, are you? Pretty sure both my... Oh, oh no, 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 we're using the water now. There we go, that's good. We built something that uses rainwater. They're making training gear, which is making people happier. 
What do I get out of you? Like, we're getting to the point now where I want to start just doing these. I need a trader to come. I really, I really want a trader. Come on, get just get the wood. Give me the wood. Oh, we're almost done with pack of crops. What are you making? You're just making fabric here? What are we doing on fabric? We got 38. All right, I'm happy with that. Let's take you out of there, put you to work. Someplace a little bit more dire. That makes me feel better. You're making me coal and bricks and potentially jerky one day, but probably not. How are we doing on coal? 21 coal, huh? I'm actually gonna... Take everyone out of the kiln for a little while. I just, I want my wood production to be done. So I'm not worrying about wood anymore. Alright, and one of these buildings is making pack of crops. That's you, and you're making building materials, which requires planks, which we're not making anymore. So I should probably also get planks back in the mix. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Let's get the wood first. Let's get the wood. I'll feel a lot better about that. You'll give me what I need! Except... Where is it? Where's the scary thing that's bad for me? Use tools... Uh, give me... Tablets, tools, copper bars. Copper bars would let us make a bunch of stuff. But, we're at the point now where like, we just want to grab victory points, so give me victory point. Forces I can make crystallized dew, which we could use. So, uh, what do you want? Just two planks? I think we could handle that. Send some people there. My stone cutter camp. Let's move it over here. We have a trader here finally. Trader. Oh, still in range. We'll just plop you there on a road that's already built. Hi. Okay. I wanted something that I already fixed, so I no longer need you, per se, but would still be nice to get a bunch of food items. It would be very nice to have just a bunch of stuff. Let's get 20 eggs. 20 mushrooms. An excellent idea. 20 green. Well, green we're making on our own and roots we're making on our own. So you know what? No roots. No green. Eggs, mushrooms, those are things we're not making. Let's just double up on them. 40 eggs, 40 mushrooms. You could have all that. There are wildfire essence in there. I have so much resin now. And there we go. Yeah. Trade. This is going to be an amazing omelette, yes. Hold on one second. I won't, I'm not even going to pause the game. I'm just going to hide myself and do what I need to do, which is collect my stupid phone, which is behind me somewhere. Out of my way, green screen. All right, I'm back. Sure. 
sure there's been important missives happening here. Ah, there's the unfortunate I was thinking about. Regarding your recent treat cancellation. It's gonna say, like, oh, I have one text? That means it got cancelled. They denied your order, 421, but I thank you for the attempts. Ooh, look, the lizards are very happy, and they're done being very happy. 133 wood! We're so close! Beavers, come on! 145, 147, 100 and... Come on. Come on, beaver, bring the wood home. Bring it home. If I, like, say forest delivery now, that'll, that'll do it. Oh, 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 I think this is a beaver bringing the wood. He's bringing it over. He put it in the storage. I appreciate it. I really do. It's it's frustrating because sometimes they're just like, no, we're not doing orders today. Deliver. Beautiful. Ooh, bathhouse. I'll take a bathhouse. There, there, those are things that people want. Are those mushrooms? Dewberry bush, bleeding tooth mushrooms. We do have some food option there. And what is this? Sea marrow deposit. More roots. No meat. Really meat light here. But what's important is we finally did the wood delivery so I can turn plank production back on. Which means we'll start making our... We need one more pack of crops, and we need ten more pack of building materials. Then we need clothing, but we don't have a way to make clothing. But I'm feeling pretty confident. I think uh, I think we're gonna be okay. <laughs> and we just discovered a new place to get food here. That's good. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. We only need two more victory points. We're we're going to be okay. Nothing for this. And this thing ran out of food. Let's slam it over here. We got some good farming going on over here. And our forester's hut can make crystallized dew. Rastoka! Rastoka! Forsaken Crypt is done. Whoa, 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 everybody. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Calm down. Everything's gonna be fine. Throw a little coal in there. Is that not enough for you people? You're still very upset. All right, still need a little bit more. Come on. Come on, fight it. Fight the sad. You could do it. Oh, yeah, I need to build some goods over here, some decorations. Fire. 
Four barrels, that's all you get. Ugh. Fine. I'll throw whatever I can in there. Just stop being sad. I know. I know we're low on fuel. How long is this storm? Mid and 13? We might... Might lose a harpy. But the bathhouse is done. There we go. Bathhouse is all set up. We need one more victory point. We are so close. Where's that last pack of crops? Everybody's red. <laughs> Everybody's red. The fire's going out. Well, shit. We are completely out of wood from that big delivery we made. Alright, beavers. Woodcutters camp. What? Why are you producing anything other than wood right now? Please, just make... Just make wood. Just wood! Wow. Is your storage also empty? Of course it is. Don't have any tools there. All the same, we're gonna move you deeper in where you can get me more wood. Alright, we only lost a harpy. The beavers will get us more wood. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Enlist some excellent hunters. Meat production increased by plus one every 25 times produced. We can't produce any! So that's not gonna help. Gain 10 skewers for every 10 pickled goods produced. Village is willing to give you their very last piece of amber just for a pint of decent ale. 20 amber for every 100 ale. We're toward the end of the run, so... None of these matter too much. We'll take the pickles because we're making pickles. Oh, they want resin? That's easy. Do it. Smoldering City wants stuff I don't have. I do have building material packs, but I need those. I'm sorry. Olcom, we already got something going on. Coral Enclave wants clay. We do have some clay. Let's get that trade route going, too. And when's the next trader arrive? That's something I'm kind of excited about here. Three and a half minutes. If I can just get a couple of tools from a trader, uh, we could finish the run. Like, if we get... Nine tools, we win. Harvester's camp has nothing to harvest. And there's nothing on the map for them to harvest. Okay. Just go ahead and stop working there. Is that the sound of a glade being discovered? No. How, how are we so low on wood? Makes no sense. You guys are chopping wood down, right? Fine. You know what? Just another woodcutter camp. It sounds like we really need another one. So here it is. 
Right there, nestled deep in the woods. Oh god! The fire's out! Come on! We need wood! It's alright, everyone's happy. For some reason. There, give me more wood. You know, we're just gonna win by virtue of the fact that we are accruing victory points as we go, so... There it is. Long travel times, two hearts. It's still a win. It's still a win. Reputation 14. All right, completed deeds, complete 30 orders, trade amber worth 200. Win a game without completing any camp events. No strangers. Ancient Battleground. Win a game near the Ancient Battleground and discover 20 dangerous glades in one cycle. We got 11 machinery, 11 artifacts, 36 food. That means we're going to be able to upgrade quite a bit. Whoosh. Alright, first, tell me about my deeds! Yes, of course, complete orders! Ooh, we got some new Citadel upgrades. We got an Explorer's Lodge. Brawling Education, we got the Crown Chronicles. A Druid Hut makes oil and coats. We got a ranch, which produces meat and eggs. Reinforced Road. A Trade Hub. If you sell goods worth amber, you gain reputation. And sharp sickles, better production. All right, rolling in the wealth. No strangers. Ancient battleground. And dangerous glades. We got the night fern. All right, those are our deeds we completed here. Now let's take a look at our upgrades. We have 53 food to spend, and now we have some stuff like... Uh, oh, we have artifacts and we have machinery. So what is this? All resource nodes get a permanent plus one to available charges, and we get the human house, which means human resolve will be very easy to work with. Plus one cornerstone reroll charge per settlement. Permanent plus 2% to burning duration for all fuel types. Every settlement starts with additional 5 planks. We could build things earlier, faster. 2% boost to global production speed. And what's down here? Reputation. Imprecation. Start oh, this is multiple imprecation bonuses. Start with vegetables, start with meat. And you get plus percent. 1% boost to yield production? Yeah. So I feel like we want to grab this one. It's pretty pretty nice to get just extra starting goods. And for the second thing... Additional option to choose from when choosing blueprints as a reputation reward. I mean, more things to pick from is good. Obviously, we do want to start getting stuff that uh, requires these materials, but... I kind of like working my way up, and this is our next bottom thing. But this starts a whole new tree. A reroll would be nice. Amber to reroll blueprints. That's another way to reroll. And starting with planks would be good too. But we can't take this one. It costs 30. Can't take you. We could take this, this, or this. Alright, so. Hey, Jim. Reputation picks. Like, again, I like more picks. That's nice. And human buildings... Why would I... Why would I preference the filthy humans? I'm gonna take the pool. I want more choices. And now, like I said, across the bottom. That makes me feel good. Next time, we're probably gonna take one of the things that requires the new... New materials we have. Boy, that's a big tree. We got a lot of stuff to get. 
<coughs> we are young and inexperienced still. 